I knew all the guys already from, from years past, but uh, I haven't worked with them, only with Aaron. But uh, they're pretty good. They are awesome, each and every one of them. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the team. Uh, the, this Geico sponsor is a pretty big company, and I'm, I'm very happy to race for them. So far, it's been, it's been great. Uh, the weekend started good. Uh, yesterday we, we weren't uh, like very fast, but uh, we find something out that uh, immediately up the pace for us quite a bit. And uh, so far today has been great, uh, both in the morning and in the afternoon, and uh, everything's looking pretty good for tomorrow. For that, it's a big one, yeah. I want it pretty bad that watch, and I finally got it, and I'm very happy. This year, I wanted to finish this race, uh, hopefully on the podium or win it, and uh, get some uh, good points for the championship. Because of the straights and the drafting, sometimes not the fastest guy won. So, that's, that's the only thing that I don't like a lot of uh, Daytona, but it's the way it is and we have to race it like that. Yeah, I think the strategy is not very important here. Uh, the, pist the, the important thing is to uh, don't make mistakes in pit stops, yeah, get a good rhythm and uh, the guys who uh, do uh, some quick changes to the tires and fuel. Uh, and I think that's it because everybody has to, to refuel two times. So I think it's not decisive. On the second pit stop, we lost a little bit of time, like uh, six or seven seconds, and uh, I had to push very hard for all that sin to catch up. Uh, I was catch up, catching up like uh, half a second sometimes, a second sometimes, and, uh, but it was very tough. Uh, I had to give 100% to catch up with the leaders and uh, to be able to have a chance to get on the podium and win. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the result didn't didn't uh, came. We finished fourth, but it's okay. I think uh, those three bikes are a little bit stronger, maybe on top end than the, than ours. But uh, the handling on mine, I think, uh, better than theirs. But it was very difficult to pass them on the straight. Uh, my plan was to uh, draft, try to draft him. Uh, on the final lap, but uh, unfortunately it didn't work out. Good, it's much better than, for example, in 2010 that I end up with zero points, or uh, the year before also, I think I finished ninth or, or eighth, I think. So I think this is, this is the best result that I had in Daytona, so I'm okay with it. Uh, to have a bike that gives me a lot of confidence. 
that I can feel what the bike is doing, you know, where it's sliding, where it's not. I think that that's the most important thing. And I think this bike gives me a lot of confidence and, and, and very good feeling. Everything is uh, like a compromise. If you have confidence in your crew and, uh, and also you're feeling good on the bike, you go fast. Uh, if you don't have a good communication or whatever and like not on the same page, it's, it's, it's more difficult. But I think we're getting along fantastic, uh, all the crew and me, and uh, also this, uh, this new Suzuki is, is, is awesome. We need to make them comfortable <clears throat> like any other rider. Uh, pretty much the way this team and the way I've always worked is to make the rider as, com as comfortable as he possibly can uh, on the bike. If he comes in and complains about rear grip or doesn't steer quick, quickly enough, uh, we try and help him. So he's in, in that respect, he's not like any other any other rider where uh, he can't just get on a stock motorcycle and, and go as quickly as he does. He needs something to, to help him along. So he has an immense amount of talent to begin with. So anything we can do to make him more comfortable on the bike, generally we can see an improvement in his lap time. I don't think to get pole is like, uh, like an insurance that you're going to win the race. Uh, I think it's the same if you are first row or second. It's a long race, it's 20 laps, so uh, if you have a good pace, you can work your way up or, or whatever. Always is a balance. Uh, sometimes quick is not necessarily quick over the duration of a race. Uh, we have to make them um, faster than his competitors all the way through the race, you know, from the beginning to the end, especially at the end. So uh, we have a, a guy, a pilot, who is very, very quick. So a lot of times it's more on us to give him a machine which he can use like a, like a good tool to be able to go out and win. Yesterday was a perfect uh, race. I got a pole and also I led the most laps and uh, ended up winning the race. Uh, it was a little bit unexpected. I thought there was going to be a, a group at the front, uh, but uh, it didn't. It didn't uh, happen yesterday, and uh, but we're very happy to win, like like we won yesterday, and try to do the same today. To come here and, and get pole, and to win the first race in the way that he did, uh, makes me feel pretty good about the way we're doing things, and you know, hopefully we can continue doing that. The Geico Suzuki GSXR 600. I like to call him the cunning Colombian Martin. Oh, yeah. Opinion: uh, The race went pretty good, uh, but on Sunday, unfortunately, at the last five laps, I think uh, I was pushing a little bit too hard and uh, I crashed. But besides that, it was a pretty good weekend. weather has not been very nice to us this weekend. Uh, we had had uh, rain, shine, a lot of wind. It's tough when you have a weekend which is two days. You have a first practice, you have two qualifying sessions and you race. And then you throw in rain and, and heavy winds like we had yesterday and a wet session this morning. It makes it really tough on everybody. Uh, to find a good setting. Now we've been here before with this year motorcycle, so we have a good base setting, and we've learned 
lots of things up to this point with Martin, what he likes and what he, what he doesn't like. To set up the bike is a little bit, you have a little bit less time. We have had only like uh, one session and a half to set up the bike. Uh, but I think the, the bike is pretty good and we have made no significant changes to the setup and it's working fine. Uh, high-speed circuit it's very very safe and very fun to ride for me it's one of my favorites here in the US this one in Laguna are my favorites uh, this layout is uh, has pretty fast corners and uh, not so much uh, like uh, low speed corners, it's the ones that I, that I don't like. Yesterday was a fantastic race for me. Uh, we could win at the end, but uh, it was uh, very difficult. Jason uh, was pretty fast all, the whole race, so uh, I had to push 100%. <laughs> To, uh, to grab that win. We did it at the end, last lap. We're all very happy for it, the team and myself and everybody. He's just a hunter. Uh, I think he rode the maximum to his ability. The bike was not nearly uh, as perfect as it could be. Uh, he went a second and a half faster in the race than he did in qualifying, so that introduces a lot more problems that we can't correct, but with his ability, uh, he, could, he could make it work. For the most part, it was him using every bit of what he had to, to triumph today. I'm always amazed by that guy. Uh, I'm just, right now, I'm just along for the ride. I, I'm just glad to be able to put together a program and a, and a machine that he can go out and, and do what he does. And, th and what he does best is, uh, is win races. Number 36, Martin Cardenas! Yeah, it's true. I, I don't like to think about too much uh, about the championship because, uh, yeah, I like, uh, personally, I like better to win races than, than championship. The weather sometimes it's a little bit uh, bad, but uh, yeah, I like the track a lot. It's a very fast track and uh, looking forward to it. He did have an understanding that uh, the championship is a primary goal uh, of this team. And he had a winning streak going. We had a, a very good, very good setting for the bikes, and uh, he was very comfortable. We went from uh, Road America to to Barber, and it's an oven, so a big change, and we had to. You know, change the bikes to, to handle the heat, and we were kind of behind on that. So we we kind of struggled, I think. Is, uh, I think it's uh, one of the best here in the circuit. It's pretty nice. Uh, the layout is uh, very fun, very technical. A little bit difficult to learn, but uh, I like it a lot. The season so far has been great. Uh, good results so far. I think so far it's been pretty good. Yesterday we we didn't quite have the result that we were looking for, but uh, 
I'll try today to, to make a better result. Yeah, the thing is we were trying something new for this race, a uh, bit different thing on the suspension and uh, so far we haven't quite uh, got it uh, working right so we're going back to the, to the things we know and uh, hopefully it will be much better today. Yeah, since the middle of the race or maybe lap 8 the rear start to, to slide quite a lot and uh, you have to ride it like that and uh, keep riding smooth as smooth as you can and, and be able to to get to the last laps with uh, the best grip that you that you can can have. We had a small issue with the with the setup of the bike and also a rear brake problem. A lot of riders don't use it and a lot of riders use it and uh, I'm one of the, the ones that use it quite a lot so yeah it's kind of uh, uncomfortable to ride with it. Yeah, I use it, uh, I think, in every track uh, quite a lot. Uh, and then, yeah, here I use it in quite a uh, few corners. So, yeah, it was kind of difficult yesterday. I think uh, those two things are fixed for today and I hope for, uh, for a better race than yesterday. <laughs>
So today's race, uh, we were able to make a small change and we had some fortune come our way with uh, both Fact and Yamaha's uh, going out early, but I think we could have fought with them. The race times for the first two thirds of the race were almost a second and a half quicker than yesterday, so the pace was much, much hotter. You know, I would have expected Bobier or even Tommy to be right there, but they weren't. They weren't able to continue. So what happened was uh, the best of the rest. And it was it was very very tough race. You know, Westby is coming on. He's on equal equipment, and Fong is is riding exceptionally well. Uh, the strategy was uh, working in progress, and uh, I thought maybe to lap to, to the end when I was in third, maybe settle for third. For him to settle for third in those circumstances, uh, I guess we could have pardoned him for it, but uh, it's Martin and he wants to win. That's why he's he's here and he's with us and that's who he is. And that's why he's the, the winningest Daytona sport bike rider you know, in the history of uh, the AMA. But uh, yeah, the bike is working awesome all weekend and uh, big thanks to them, to the Gaiku Suzuki team. If I can make the bike better, they'll go faster. And if they can go faster with less risk, uh, they can fight for a win. They can fight for a position. Geico, the, the M4 Suzuki team, recently acquired a, a suspension dyno. And from last year, we decided to uh, try and go a separate route, uh, do a lot of our suspension in-house. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, uh, the main one was just simply for, for the team to grow and to become more proficient in, in every aspect of uh, motorcycles. You know, we already do all the engines. and. We do most of the, almost every aspect of the bike, and we weren't doing the suspension. Last year, it was decided to, to bring a, a tech up to speed with working on the forks and shock. Along with that, a shock dyno to, to test and to, to verify the bills that are put on the motorcycles. It's, it's, a, it's become a pretty critical part of our program. It's kind of like an engine dyno, except that uh, in some ways it's more important. You, know, you, can, you always want to test what you, what you build. We haven't really been able to do that with our own equipment until this year. And we, we've learned some, some things and uh, I think it's shown. This is his seventh win of the 2012 season for the Geico Suzuki team. Give it up for number 36, Martin Kodera. It's nice, uh, it's uh, an oval like Daytona, but I think better. The layout is more fun than Daytona. Uh, it's not a road course, but, uh, but it's okay. Both conditions have good grip, dry or wet, so I think and, and it makes a good competition because uh, there's a lot of overtaking spots, so I think it's good. Uh, were not great, 
Uh, we raced uh, the second race in the wet, so uh, it was kind of uh, racing not to crash, just to finish the race and try to clinch the championship. That was the, the goal here this weekend, and uh, we made it. And uh, so hopefully we can uh, go to Nola and race with no pressure and uh, enjoy the racing. Big thanks to all the Geico Suzuki team and uh, the sponsors like Arai, Alpine Stars, uh, M4, uh, everybody that is involved with the, with the team and, and with myself. Uh, I like to th thank them a lot and without them this championship wouldn't be possible, so big thanks to them. I have to run. Thank you very much, Thank man, you. for everything. Thank you. Yeah, boring race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Add with no, no risk. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Thank you, man. See you in Nova. The rider out of Medellin, Colombia, number 36, Martin Cardenas, is your 20. So, Mr. John Olders for giving me the the opportunity to ride in the in his team. Since 2007, I'm I'm very uh, how, how, what's the word? Uh, grateful, maybe grateful with him uh, for giving me the chance. And uh, now it's been uh, great few years riding for him and uh, I hope to continue and to win more races and more championships for the team. Martin! Martin! Earlier in the season, you know, we had a pretty big discussion about eight. Hey, you know, we've got a big points lead, we need to conserve the points lead. I like winning races as much as anybody, but I really like winning championships. And that's that's what you're remembered for the most. So well, I flat out told him, you know, sometimes second is enough. And I, you know, I almost felt bad about it because he said later in the season, he said, you know, when he's out there riding, he's trying not to think about that, but he said he kept hearing my voice in the back of his head. We need to conserve the points lead. I like winning races as much as anybody, but I really like winning championships. That's what you're remembered for the most. Sometimes second is enough. Second is enough. Second is enough. So I told him, I said, okay, look, man, we go to Homestead and wrap this thing up, then you can do whatever you want at NOLA, no, no problem. So, uh, you know, that's, yeah, we're not going to stop trying to make the motorcycle as good as we can make it on any given day. was to go forward or 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 the ground or whatever but uh yeah I was gonna give everything I had for for try to win the both races uh, unfortunately yesterday I made a small mistake I pushed a little bit too hard in a place that I was and wasn't very comfortable and I I crashed <laughs> Everybody kept on saying no pressure, no pressure, but I believe I felt more pressure this weekend than many other weekends. We struggled a, a little bit this weekend. We, uh, we've been here before for the, the AMA test, and the conditions were a lot different. So we got here, we put the test settings in, and they didn't work anything like it did at the test.
So we had to take a, a step back and, uh, and rethink what we thought we had learned. But we had a change that we made for the race that it definitely compromised rear grip. And you can see it on TV very, very clearly. So we had to really override the bike and then he loses the front. So he was uh, kind of disappointed, but I was worried this weekend because I knew he was very focused on winning. And I know how quickly he can go and how fast things can go wrong at that speed. I've worked with a lot of guys over the years, and Martin Cardenas is the best guy as far as the total package of being a really good racer, a good tactician, um, a guy who can set up his motorcycle, a guy who can get along with his crew, and a guy who's just basically a decent human being, pleasant to be around. So I think a lot of the guys. I am so proud to be able to work with a guy like that. If, uh, if the bike is good enough for him, he can do things like happened today. That, that last lap, I don't think I breathed more than a few times the, uh, the last 45 seconds of the race. Today was worth it, uh, the, the effort that I put on and I managed to, uh, to win. Maybe the toughest race that I ever been, or, or one of the toughest, uh, because uh, Cameron was very strong this weekend. I think even today he was a little bit faster than me, but uh, I could do it, and uh, I kept pushing and pushing, and uh, the last lap yeah, was decided, and I came on top, and I'm very, very, very happy for it. You made it worthwhile, let me tell you. <laughs> It's worthwhile, my friend. Yeah. It's always uh, good and fun to to do well when the sponsors are, are here watching you. This, this is a guy that if you put the right bike under him, he can win anything. There's just no doubt about it. I'm 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 really really proud of him, and I'm proud of the team. Colombia number 36, Martin Cardenas.